Hi, so these three were the problems which I posted yesterday for the eighth day of our 15 days math smart puzzle challenge. So we are going to solve all three of them one by one. So let me start with the problem number one. So here we have to find the product of 5 to the power 1 by 2 multiplied by 5 to the power 1 by 4 multiplied by 5 to the power 1 by 8 multiplied by 5 to the power 1 by 16. So if you remember we have a formula where if we multiply two terms with same base and different powers then the product of such two terms will be same base and sum of their powers. So a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n is actually equal to a to the power m plus n. This we have learned earlier on this channel and similarly if we have a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n multiplied by a to the power p multiplied by a to the power q then this will be equal to a to the power m plus n plus p plus q. So if you are multiplying two or more terms with the same base then the result will be the same base and its power will be sum of powers of all the terms right. So this we have learnt. So this can be written as 5 to the power 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 16 and this will continue because it is an infinite. And what is this? This is actually a geometric progression. First term is 1 by 2, second term is 1 by 4, third term is 1 by 8, fourth term is 1 by 16 and this will continue. This is a geometric progression with first term a is equal to 1 by 2 and the common ratio is also equal to 1 by 2 because when I multiply this 1 by 2 with this ratio this gives me 1 by 4 and when this 1 by 4 gets multiplied by 1 by 2 I get 1 by 8 but this is an infinite sequence. So sum of infinite geometric sequence was given as a by 1 minus r when r is less than 1 and since r is 1 by 2 over here I'll use this formula. So the sum of this sequence will be 1 by 2 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 which is actually equal to 1 by 2 divided by 1 by 2. Half divided by half is actually equal to yes 1. So here the sum will be actually equal to 5 to the power 1 which is equal to 5. So the product of this sequence will be 5. Isn't it interesting? Yes. And yes, if you have any doubt about this formula, I have already posted a video on the derivation of the sum of infinite geometric progression. So you can go through that derivation and you can strengthen your concepts, right? So this is the solution for the first problem and this is a second problem which I'm going to solve now. Here we have to find the value of square root of 16 then again double square root of 16 square root of 16 this continues so this 16 has total 5 square root signs above it this one has total 4 this has 3 but yes this is an infinite sequence so how do we solve it so x is equal to square root of 16 square root of 16 square root of 16 square root of 16 and this continues right so if I square at both the sides x square will be equal to 16 multiplied by square root of 16 square root of 16 again this goes for infinite number of times yes so what is this this is nothing but x itself so I can write x square is equal to 16x or if I divide both the sides by x this x will cancel this x this x will cancel one of the x's over here and from here I'll get x is equal to 16 so this is the result for this problem so this is the second puzzle and now let me solve the third one for you so this is the third problem we have already done a problem similar to this but there one person he told me that the square root of any number can only be positive but just to clarify it to you if I multiply minus 2 by minus 2 I get 4 and if I multiply 2 by 2 again I get 4 so the square root of 4 is actually equal to plus minus 2. So unless you are asked for the positive number or the negative number you can actually write both the numbers and actually you should write both positive 2 and negative 2 as your answers. 
So this was just to clarify his doubt and now let us solve the problem. So here we have x is equal to square root of 20 plus square root of 20 plus square root of 20 plus and this continues. This is also an infinite series, right? And now what will I do? Yes, I'll just square both the sides. So I'll get x square is equal to 20 plus. So when I square both the sides, only one square root sign that to the topmost square root sign of the right hand side will get removed. And this will be 20 plus square root of 20 plus square root of 20 plus square root of 20 plus again an infinite sequence below this square root sign. So what is this? This can now be written as x square is equal to 20 plus. This is nothing but x, right? And now I'll bring everything to the left hand side and right hand side will be equal to 0. So this will be x square minus x minus 20 is equal to 0. And now I'll factorize the left hand side. So x square this minus x can be written as minus 5x plus 4x this minus 20 will be as it is 4 and 5 are actually the factors of 20 and this will be equal to 0 and now from these two terms I'll take x common and I'll get x minus 5 inside the bracket and from these two terms I'll take plus 4 common and again I'll get x minus 5 inside the bracket and this will be equal to 0. Now let me solve it here. Now we have two terms on the left hand side and from there I can take x minus 5 common and inside the bracket I'll have x from here and plus 4 from here. So this will be x plus 4 and this will be equal to 0. So either of the brackets can be 0. So if x minus 5 is equal to 0 I'll get x equal to 5 and if x plus 4 4 is equal to 0, I'll get x is equal to minus 4. So these are the two answers for the third problem. And if you're asked for the positive answer, you can say x is equal to 5. Otherwise, you are supposed to mention both the results as your answers. So that's all for this video. And in few hours, I'll be posting problem set for day number 9. So keep watching MathSmart and bye-bye till then.